Okay, we're on the final one. Good video. Very good video. Okay, so we're on the final one. We're on the, the, the best one. What we've been waiting for. This one's six minutes. This won't be long. Please subscribe, everyone. Yes, yes. Please subscribe to him. Please. Okay. We on the final one. Um, <clears throat> This is what everyone was waiting for. Project Mugen parkour gameplay content updates. This was... Uh, this was video was made four weeks ago. It would have been a much more right, earlier time, but I didn't do it. Last, um, but definitely not, not least. least. <laughs> but um, hey Deborah, hey Yuri, uh, Yuri, what the hell, my hair? Uh, <laughs> Yuri, come over. Oh yeah, come over here on uh YouTube Shorts. We're about to do a reaction on Project Mugen. If you don't care about that, you can stay there and watch as I finish. Oh, well, I'm not gonna finish it up today, uh, but as I'm trying to clean up and do the line work of this fan art, chibi fan art for my um, mod. All right, from Overlord. I guess her name is, what's her name? Albino? Albino? Al Albedo. I can never say her name right, but you know what I'm talking about. You've probably seen the show or a fan of this or at least seen this character before. All right, so this is Project Mugen by Arcrez or Arcrez Gaming. And they're going to give us an update on what is going on with the game. I'm actually really excited to play this game. I want to play this game really badly. I know Rai does and everyone else. I want to parkour through this game and Spider-Man swing through it. An anime game that is not Spider-Man, but it looks like it would be fun. So with that said, let's go. Hey guys, it's Paradise. And this game is kind of looking like a mix of Marvel's Spider-Man, GTA, and Genshin Impact, which has a lot of people excited. You may remember when this game was first revealed, we promised to keep you up to date when new information or news dropped. And over the last few months, the devs have actually been releasing small tidbits of new details. So we finally have enough juicy things to talk about and actually make a video worth to share with you guys. So let us know what you're thinking about this game so far, because for us, personally the gameplay that they've showed is looking pretty awesome but don't get it wrong there are some red flags here so it's gonna be really interesting to know how you're feeling about this but first let's go over a quick recap of this game this exciting looking Samurai. urban open world well, rpg is sunflower. called project Mugen, yep, yep. and it's crafted by thunderfire studios naked rain and is published by NetEase games we will be stepping into the shoes of an esper as we explore and unravel the supernatural events within this massive city the game is going to be launching on PC, mobile devices, but also PlayStation 4 and 5. There isn't a confirmed release date yet, but you can sign up for the upcoming test phases. The devs have been relatively quiet, but we actually have a recent interview about the game. There is, however, something really cool that we missed out in our other video, which is this clip from Max D. Gacha, which showcases the parkour system in the game, and we must say it's looking very cool and very similar to the movement from Spider-Man. This how I wonder if the movement from Spider-Man. I wonder it's gonna be the. I wonder the movement's gonna be a lot like Spider-Man or like a um uh, Avenger Avengers. Assassin's Creed or like uh, Weathering Waves because I like how they do the parkouring and Weathering Waves a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a bit janky sometimes depending on what the, 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 the terrain is, whether you're going up or sideways on something. It could be a bit janky, but it could do a lot better. However, is then combined with additional traversal systems like being able to drive cars, swinging around, and more. So this is just one of the reasons that people are excited for this title. In a recent interview, however, we did get some gems of information as the studio behind the game, Naked Rain, had an interview with Xputer and they answered questions about content updates, gameplay, and even monetization. Let's start off with the content updates as we know that Project Mugen will take place in a very large city environment and one of our worries is that the environment might look a bit samey and get boring quite quickly compared to other games with various and more diverse biomes. They have previously spoken about implementing a procedural generation system to build out the city so it has a bit more variety but something that's quite exciting is what the interviewer said following this question. The game has quite an interesting story and is expected to be expanded on after each major update but how long do you think it will take for the studio to release the full story into the game? Naked Rain then said their goal is to present a vast game world that can be explored. Therefore, after the game is launched, they will continuously update and expand the content, including the city map, new characters and stories. This will ensure the player will have new experiences constantly, and they say they will refer to the update cycles of other free-to-play role-playing games on the market, but they can't confirm it just yet. It's of course very cool to see that they're not only adding in new characters, but whole new city maps, which is actually kind of unexpected for us. 
We thought the game would be to stay in this main city for a while. And if they're sticking to the same cadence of other free to play games when it comes to releasing updates and major content, we can expect that they will probably have smaller monthly updates releasing new missions or characters and then every quarter have a major content drop with a new scenario. They did actually expand on what we can expect from these new city maps in the interview as when asked about the post launch roadmap and how new cities or characters may be implemented they said, as you progress the main storyline, new cities will also appear with plans to update at least one new city per year. They're also planning to add new characters and the player will encounter them in subsequent exploration as you embark on investigative journeys together. Since the last video we actually have some more information about how the game might be monetized but this isn't something we're super sure of as during the reveal it wasn't confirmed about the structure that the developers will be using. During this interview though, they were asked how they plan to implement the monetization into the game as it will be free to play. In response, one of the devs said, our commercial team is working on establishing a new commercial gameplay for content service games to ensure that more players can enjoy the excellent content. We will inform the player of any new developments. Of course, it's great to hear that they're working to ensure this will be balanced and that you can actually experience the content of the game. But one of the biggest red flags for us at the moment is the fact that NetEase is publishing it. If if you aren't familiar, NetEase is sort of famous for the monetization drama surrounding Diablo Immortal. Hopefully this isn't just some sort of marketing speech and they will actually implement some sort of consumer friendly system and within this hopefully the gameplay will be the focus. Depending on how a game is designed around its monetization, they can quickly rinse your time or just straight up your money if you keep playing them, which of course for many games just doesn't feel very good. In relation to this, supposedly the devs are trying hard to ensure that the game will have a balance between players that do choose to spend and other players that are opting to stay free to play. They said during the interview that players won't need to pay to win because the game isn't solely about winning anyway due to the structure and design of it. Naked Rain said that they believe the most important and fundamental aspect is the game itself. They say our players don't have to pay to win and their game experience does not need to be solely about winning. They want people to feel excited about the game and passionate about its content. They're still exploring specific commercialization models and they cannot provide an accurate answer at this time. This however is one of our biggest issues with these Genshin Impact style games as just when you really get going they start to push you towards purchasing items to increase your chances at increasing your power which we personally feel impacts the gameplay experience and enjoyment. If this studio is able to find a balance between preserving the gameplay experience while also making the game commercially viable for them, so that of course it doesn't just die on release, then this would be absolutely fantastic and it looks like they're trying to make this work so we are hopeful. So is there any news on a release date or when we can actually play it? Well it looks like the devs are gearing up for a beta soon but it doesn't have a confirmed date on that either. They have said that they will need player feedback before launch and they're planning to release the game cross-platform and globally which honestly because we're here in the west we love to hear. So tell us what you're thinking of all of this down below we'd love to hear your thoughts and make sure to subscribe down below because we'll keep you up to date as and when more information comes out. Alright guys so that was Arc Gaming hopefully that was somewhat of I, I don't think that was much of an update it was more like just wait and see I guess a wait and see type update not really much of like any real information other than we're working on things we're gonna get around to a beta that's pretty much what that is and when it comes it comes and then when we're ready you guys will know so that's pretty much just a wait and see we have, we're working on things type of response so not the type of response I was kind of expecting either but you know it is what it is can't get everything you ask for right so with that said like subscribe share follow comment i'll see you guys in the next one i do appreciate every last one of you guys we are done for today thank you guys uh i think this is enough content that will last us for a good time um these videos will be coming out pretty frequently so i'm not gonna hold them off too long so i'll be posting them more often so with that said have a great night i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys for coming in Thank you, Deborah, for coming. I have left to go to bed. Just soon. Okay. Have a great night, Deborah. Thank you, Vry. Thank you, everyone. Flynn, uh, Ultra, everyone. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Albedo. Yes. Have you played Elden Ring? No, but I will. I'm planning on playing it one of these days. I just didn't have time to do it. But we will one day. Good night, everyone. All right. Later, guys. Bye-bye.